Hello guys and welcome back to new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So these days I worked on updates for Headless Browser API and I added three very important features to them. So one will be the feature that it is much needed, so the Stealth module. So Headless Browser API will act as a normal browser starting from now and websites will not be able to detect that it is actually a headless browser and uh, it might scrape them. So because of this, they will not show any captures, they will not block scraping and they will not act against accessing their resources. So headless browser API got this update, the don't get blocked update, anti-bot detection and bypassing build into the API and you will not need to worry anymore for requests being blocked. So let me show you this feature in the plugin and uh, the Crawlomatic plugin which uses Headless Browser API. And let me show you this website that I found and I tested this feature on this website. So it's autoinevastel.com slash bots. And here on the bottom, if you are using a browser, you will see many green things. And uh, on Chrome 100, for some reason, this is red because of uh, they uh, forgot to add a web driver. However, this should be green. If you check this page on Firefox, you will see that everything is green. So this is a normal browser behavior. Every test here is green. So let me check this in the Crawlomatic plugin and let me use Headless Browser API to um, test it. So first of all, let's use the default WordPress scraping method and check this website. I will use the visual selector to visualize the content. So using WordPress scraping, as you can see, the JavaScript is not executed and the parts of the test, we are not seeing those parts. Now let's go ahead and jump to using Puppeteer, which is installed on my server, which is not Headless Browser API, but local Puppeteer installed on my server. And if we use the local Puppeteer to visualize the website, so keep in mind, this is not Headless Browser API. It is a local Puppeteer installed on my local server. We will see three things read. So Puppeteer failed these three tests. This was the Headless Browser API result also before the updates that I made just now. So and now let me check also with Headless Browser API Puppeteer, which will be uh, the results. So I hope everything will be great. So let's check Headless Browser API Puppeteer. And this is the result. And if we scroll down, everything is green exactly like in Firefox. Also, this is better than Chrome 100. So the web driver test is not failing, unlike on Chrome 100. Also, let me show you how the built-in Tor module is returning even more red parts because the Tor module which is built in is even uh, considered even uh, dirtier. However, the Headless Browser API Tor you will see that is uh, green. So this is the built-in Tor module which is installed on my server. So if you install Tor on your server you will see that there will be some uh, possibilities that the websites will detect that you are actually using a headless browser. But if you use Tor on headless browser API, we will see that we should get full green results. So this is the first major update I made for headless browser API. And as you can see, Tor also is full green in the headless browser tests on this website. Okay, so now let me show you the second feature is that the 
API will be able to automatically solve also captures that are on the page or which might be on the page. So if the page is protected by a captcha, you can use the automatic captcha solving feature in headless browser API that will solve the capture. To enable this, in the latest plugin versions of Crawlomatic, you will find the this headless browser API enable capture solving checkbox. If you check this checkbox and you use the puppeteer or Tor modules of headless browser API, it will be uh, with capture solving enabled. So this feature is only for puppeteer and Tor for capture solving in headless browser API. Now let me go ahead and tell you also about the third feature which will be adblock. So headless browser API got a new update also to block automatically ads which might appear in the content. So simply check this checkbox and use the puppeteer or tour endpoints of headless browser API and you will be able to block ads that appear in the scraped content automatically exactly like you uh, would use an ad block on uh, Chrome or on Firefox. Okay, so let me show you also the documentation of these new features, which will be found on headlessbrowserapi.com slash documentation, which is also linked in this video's description. So these new features will be enabled with these arguments for the API calls. This is uh, required only if you create your own tools which use Headless Browser API. If you use the plugins that I created, which automatically implement Headless Browser API, you will not need to mess with these parameters. So solve capture and enable ad block. This can be set to one or on. So on, this is the value which will enable these features. Also note that if you use the solve capture feature, enable, uh, add the, to the waiting time that you uh, wait after the results from the scraping, uh, at least 120 seconds because capture solving is a, a bit lengthy process and can take up to 120 seconds to complete. So keep note of this. Okay, so yeah, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed these new features of Headless Browser API. It is linked in this video's description. Also, you will find Crawlomatic there. And yeah, until next time, subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this content. Have a nice day. Bye bye.